Hello, this is Ian Summerall, Country Sports TV, and we now have the new general license for shooting wood pigeons. General license number 32, issued under the Wildlife and Countryside Act, section 161K and 16.5. Now I'll explain that a, a bit quick. The government to issue a license is issued under section 16. Section 16 1K is for protecting livestock and crops. So what we want to do is look at section 5. That is the methods that can be used. And section 5 prohibits the use of automatic, semi-automatic bows to kill birds. But I'm going to talk about that later on in the video. This is my thoughts. And I can, uh, I can only go by what I read. This is the original copy of the wildlife and Countryside Act 1981 and it's an Act of Parliament the new version is available as a PDF and also you have to read the latest digital version that is on the government website if I can get a link to it, I'll try and put it onto the video. If not, I'll, I'll, I'll do it later. It is not an easy subject. I have been trying to get my head around this for two weeks now. My original thoughts were, Oh, sugar, what are we going to do? We use the general license to shoot pigeons, crows, magpies, etc. to protect crops. The most effective way of controlling the number of pest species, birds, pigeons, crows, magpies, is by decoying. And we decoy mainly on stubble. The crops picked up, the crops gone. Before the birds can do any other damage to any more crops before it's harvested, we control the numbers by shooting on stubble, by decoying. It's what we do. And it's worked for hundreds of years. Until now. Now we have the environmentalists, the animal rights activists, or animal rights terrorists as some people call them trying to control our government to try and stop us shooting pigeons. They want them protected. The farmers are going to be devastated. Crops are going to be devastated. It's going to cost money. It's going to cost the farmer in profit and it's going to put food prices up. That's the only logical conclusion that I can come to on what has happened. Now, to use this new general license, they've changed the wording of it. It's now nine, where it used to be four pages, it's now nine pages. And I've only just skipped through it. Before you can use the license, and before you can use lethal methods, shoot, you have to prove, if asked by a member of staff from Natural England or a police officer, that you have tried non-lethal methods first. And you also have to keep trying to use non-lethal methods before you use lethal methods. In our case, decoy pigeons. Now, it could be, the way I read this, that this single license has outlawed decoying on stubble full stop 
It is only for crop protection. So you should, in theory, only be allowed to shoot on crops that are being damaged. You have to prove that the damage is there. You have to prove that you've used non-lethal methods if asked by a member of staff from Natural England or a police officer. However, have Natural England got enough staff to police the whole of, of England, because this doesn't cover Wales or Scotland, have Natural England got enough staff to police the general licence, to police all decoyers? Are the police going to come out if you're decoying and say, what non-lethal methods have you used, sir? And are you still using them? Are they really going to come out to somebody decoying? Just think of the cost that's going to employ. And you're not breaking the law. You're doing something that is a common law right to control pests. Now we come to my thoughts of the general licence. Now I've had all sorts of thoughts and I've said them on here on my other videos. My latest thinking is that the wood pigeon is not protected by the Wildlife and Countryside Act. Why do I say this? The Wildlife and Countryside Act 1981 was an attempt to bring the European bird directive into British law and you had the um, Wildlife and Countries Act for England and Wales and then when well, Wales had their own parliament that power was handed over to them to issue the general licences and the same with Scotland so we're only talking about England at the moment so Wildlife and Countryside Act was an attempt to bring in the European Bird Directive, which said that all birds were protected. So, the Wildlife and Countryside Act had a list of birds that could be shot at any time. Pigeons, crows, magpies, etc. That didn't comply with the Bird Directive. So they removed the wood pigeons and crows, that's rooks, carrying crows, magpies, etc. from the list. So the list no longer exists. But, because there are pest species, they did not put the wood pigeon and crows onto the protected list, which is Schedule 1, Part 1, which includes blackbirds, robins, songbirds, etc. So if if the pigeon is now not named or listed on the Countryside and Wildlife Act, it is not protected. It can't be. If it was protected, it would be under Schedule 1, Part 1, along with blackbirds, robins, etc. But it's still classed as a pest species. But removing it from Schedule 2, Part 2, where it used to be, which is birds that could be shot at any time, which were, as pest species, which was a common law right, you've now got no protection at all. You've got no law on the pigeon at all, whatsoever. That's my view. Have the government got the legal right to bring in a general license to cover a bird that is not on the protected list. The pigeon is not covered by the Wildlife and Countryside Act because they removed it. Right, that's my first point. Second point. I said section 16.5. 
the use of methods to kill and it outlaws automatic semi-automatic and bows and, and other things but that's for section one that's for protected species so if the pigeon isn't on the protected species list does section 16 5 cover it also at the start of section 16 1 it says section 1 5 and it lists uh, parts of the act the sections of the act that it does not apply to in other words if you had a plague of blackbirds and they were devastating a crop the government could issue a license to cover the culling of those blackbirds so section so it says that section one does not apply if the license is granted for crop protection but the pigeon is non section one so that won't cover it section 16.5 the use of a semi-automatic firearm is put on the license so that we can use a semi-automatic uh, weapon but if the pigeon has been removed from the wildlife and countryside act from the list of birds that can be shot at any time can it be put on a license and it says at the beginning that section 5 does not apply to anything done for crop protection. I'll put the wording up here. You have to read it. I suggest you all go online and read it. See if I'm right. I'm not a lawyer, but all I can go on is what is written in black and white in an Act of Parliament. I've got people who are supposed to be educated telling me I'm wrong telling me that I don't understand well I did six years in the civil service one thing that they found that I could do is read an act of parliament and understand what it means it's one of the quirks that I have you've got it in black and white it says it and you try and understand what it means the argument that the EU bird directive says this and says that does not apply because the wildlife and countryside act of 1981 was to cover that and to bring that into English law so if it isn't written in the Countryside and Wildlife Act, it is not law. So, if the pigeon is not protected by the Countryside and Wildlife Act, how can the government issue a licence for it? It needs better brains than mine to argue this point. You just can't accept that, oh, the government can issue a license, that's all right, everything's yunky dory now. No. What happens if you go to court? What happens if you go to court? Can you be prosecuted on something that isn't protected? And a use of a license that's been issued illegally? We've already found that the license was revoked. A month ago because of Chris Packham he said the license had been issued illegally so the government do not know how to issue a license the license was issued in 2015 under the wrong subsection of the act and we'd been shooting pigeons for 10 years with a general license that had been issued illegally under the wrong subsection of the Countryside and Wildlife Act. If, in my argument, they have the right to issue the general license in the first place. 
you need to read the general license and then you need to read the act of parliament that covers it you have to prove that i am wrong i don't think i am i think it's the best of my knowledge i will stand if if i'm wrong i'll and hold my hand up and say sorry I misunderstood but words are written down in black and white in an act of parliament they mean something they have to mean something that our constitution is built on it so if there's a list of birds that can be shot at any time pigeons, crows, magpies and they are removed and you tell me they're protected they should have been added to the list of protected species of birds that is they should have been put on schedule one part one along with blackbirds and robins but they were not because they're pests it's a i don't know want to use the word cock up but it fits it's a dog's dinner the government have issued something to cover something of a mistake that they've made and we the shooter the pigeon shooter are the ones that are going to suffer now if the police haven't got the staff to police it and the nature haven't got the staff to police the general license are we going to find that we're going to get members of this new group, the Wild Justice Group, Chris Packen, Mark Avery and co. We're going to have, they're going to have agents coming out, walking across the fields as you're decoying and saying, can you prove that you've used non-lethal methods? I don't know. I think it's absolutely crazy. I think it's going to create a lot of hassle. And the ordinary guy that goes shooting to, to, to work with farmers, to protect his crop. We are going to be the ones that suffer. We're the good guys. <laughs> we look after the farmers. Farmers allow us to go shooting. We like shooting. And we protect his crop best way that we can protect his crop is to shoot on stubble this wood pigeon general license number 31 does not allow us to shoot on stubble because it's not a damaged crop we are in real doo-doo what are our shooting organizations doing has Basque okay this I know the NGO are not happy with it and they've said so on their website I'm not happy with it things that I've done and always done have now been outlawed without an act of parliament by a stroke of a pen by a piece of paper issued by the government not by our parliament is it going to stand up in court don't know are the Crown Prosecution going to take a case on this flimsy piece of paper? I don't know. Can we rely on anybody? We're told by English nature that we could use Section 4 of the Wildlife, wildlife and Countryside Act. That gives you an exemption for shooting and protecting crops well if you've got that exemption in the wildlife and countryside act and english nature are telling us we can use it why do we need the general license in the first place our shooting organizations are telling us we cannot rely on section four what's their game why do they want the license think about it the answer is simple 
remove the general license for pest control, put the Pigeons Crows Magpies back on schedule two part two of birds that can be shot any time, problem solved.